Hello, I'm Trisha G. I'm going to do top 10 IntelliJ tips. I'm not going to do 10 IntelliJ tips. I just thought that that was great alliteration. So I might do more, I might do less. And Dan has threatened to pair with me, so I don't know if he's going to or not. <laughs> no, maybe? Yes. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do, I can't see anyone. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and um, I'm going to do some actual work. I'm going to do a real piece of, of code that we need to implement. So this could, of course, go horribly wrong, because you know that you don't do code in 30 seconds flat. It's always, uh, it's always takes longer than you expect it to. Um, so we'll see how this goes. And I have an emergency bailout mechanism if this doesn't work, which is to flee and get out of here. The door's there. You can <laughs> make it. You can do this. Um, I don't have a timer, so I don't know whether I'm going to be running out of time. Can, can you tell me when I've done 10 minutes, and then I can pull into emergency procedure? <laughs> OK, so this is the good thing about working for MongoDB. I work for MongoDB, by the way, not JetBrains, but I'm wearing my IntelliJ t-shirt just for the sake of it. Um, the good thing about working for MongoDB is that all of our code is open source. So I can actually do real work in the open, and you can look at it, uh, which is quite cool. I don't have to worry about anonymizing all my classes so that you can see it. Um, I am an IntelliJ person. I have used um, NetBeans and Eclipse, and um, I think I started using Vi or Ved or something. Um, and uh, I didn't really mind which one I used for a long time, because to me it was just a tool for typing into, which just shows just how wrong I was. And um, I started pairing with people at, um, at LMAX, and the reason I was kind of ambivalent between Eclipse and IntelliJ at the time. And the reason I switched to IntelliJ is because most people at LMAX... it's so much better. Well, it is better, obviously. <laughs> um, but most people at LMAX were, were using it, and so we were pairing on the same IDE, and I learned how to use it really effectively, um, for me, anyway. And, um, and I wouldn't have got that if I hadn't paired. It would have just been just another editor to me. So the piece of work we're going to do is <coughs> we have this command class. OK. And um, we want to get rid of this command class. Right, we we're should do that. Yes. We're moving Commands from are stupid, OK? Yes, totally. Yeah. So we're moving from commands to operations. Natch. Which is more or less the same thing. It's just a different word. So the first thing I want to do is I need to find all the subclasses of, of this command. How did you do that? How did I do that? It's a good question. That's mostly what I do in this talk. <laughs> it's a good question, because then after, after I've done the muscle memory thing, then I have to look at which keys it was. It was Alt, Command, and B to find all of the... Um, implementers of a particular class. Um, so I'm going to pick list databases, because that's a really nice little one that I want to get rid of. So now I want to find everywhere where list databases is used, which is Alt F7. And, um, and it's used. <laughs> you basically used once. You'll notice it's not used in a test. <laughs> So it's used in I, this. I, um, I don't think they noticed that. <laughs> it's not like we're being filmed. It's, it's used in this, this class called Mongo. Now, I'm working on a new uh, driver for MongoDB, get my plug in for my company. Um, and we've got, two, we've got two APIs at the moment. We have the old compatibility API and we have the new API. Okay. And so there's a certain amount of stuff which obviously we want to share between the two APIs, which is kind of the reason for moving towards operations, so that we can have operations which we share between both APIs. And all they do is call the operation, and the API is quite a dumb layer on top of it. And right. so I found, I know... So operations like an anti-corruption layer between the two worlds. Right. right. So I found that um, list databases is used inside Mongo, which I happen to, meet, happen to know is the old world order, because it's got driver compat there. Um, and I need to find what my next keyboard shortcut was. Um, I also need to find... Right, and I know the equivalent in the new world order, so I'm doing command N, is uh, client... Admin impl. One of the things I love no about... No one's calling new code impl, are they? Because that would be... Yeah, no, we don't do that. Okay. No, this is the new code. We, sh we, we should talk. <laughs> <laughs> Let's gloss over that. Um, so one of the things I like about command n, and if you use IntelliJ, you probably already know this, but you, can, you don't have to fill in the whole word. To I'll translate for the non-Mac people, control n. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. <laughs> and sometimes it's command, sometimes it's control, and sometimes it's not. But um, So I can do clear add in, and then I get my client admin impl, which I really like because I'm an extremely lazy typist. So um, I happen to know that if I do, um, I need to find command and F12 will tell me 
all of, all the methods in here, and I know that this has a get database names as well. So that's nice. That's, that's like a little overview of the current class file. Yes. Yeah, so command F12, and I can see <coughs> it's the same thing that turns up in the structure. If you thing. start typing there, what happens? Oh, that's so a good G question. G E. Yeah. Oh. There you go. So get database names, and I'm here. Um, so what I want to do is I want to share the code here. This code here is pretty similar to this code here. So I want to move this into an operation. Uh, I'm going to remove the to-do. <laughs> That's how I fixed it. I just removed it. Um, so what I really want to do is I need to turn this into an operation. It's already using command operation, but command operation is a g generic operation, which is kind of reusable. So I, I want to create a new get, da get database names operation. And normally, if I wasn't, so this is refactoring, but normally what I'd be doing is I'd have a unit test or acceptance test, and I mm -hmm. would write what I was expecting in the acceptance test and create the classes from the acceptance test. You're just driving in from the outside here. Yeah. So I know this is very similar to the, the, the hardcore TDD earlier things. This is a really nice kind of tie-in. So it's, it, I'm not writing the test here because I'm doing refactoring, but that's what I would normally do. So and of course, you have tests that check whether this is going to be the right yeah. We'll get there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we won't be refactoring. We're going to be moving oh, code around, right? No, that's true, though. That's <laughs> what I, I wanted to... I did want to show that, actually. I wanted to show that... Um, so get database names. I wanted to check that it is, in fact, tested. So I'm going to do Alt F7. Um, it's in something called DB test. Um, and it's in something called Mongo methods test. This is the old code. OK, this will be better. Um, and client admin impl... There's tests. That like, already puts it in a... Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, client admin impl, let's see if there's any tests for that. There's, look, there's an acceptance test. Database admin acceptance test. Awful. Should list all the databases available. That Sounds like something I wrote. Um, and so anyway, moving swiftly on. Uh, I know this needs to extend uh, base operation. Um, again, super, super lazy. And this is going to return a list of... Uh, strings. I haven't done Java for a while. I miss those angle brackets. <laughs> Don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now I'm just going to do the magic Alt Enter button because Alt Enter. If you're in doubt, press Alt Enter, and I'm going to implement the methods on that um, abstract class. So Alt Enter, uh, if you're a Simpsons fan, is the little nodding bird thing. <laughs> okay. So all, all you need is that, and that's and most of your coding. There, you can sit back exactly. and watch it. Exactly. And um, so then the other thing that's missing is it, it is a constructor. So it can cr creates my um, constructor from the superclass. I think so the, the, the general theme here is like, like anything you can possibly infer, any typing that, sh that, that can be inferred, you shouldn't have to type. No. I, so this is a generally. whole class, and I did it with, uh, I don't know, like half a dozen keystrokes. And the other thing I want to do, obviously, Match. is I want to create a test for it. So I pressed Command. Shift and T, and it says, oh, you don't have a test for this, not surprisingly. So I'm going to create a test for it. I'm going to create a Spock test for it, because Spock is amazing, and you should all use it. Vacation. Um, and then I'm going to create one of these. I'm going to put it in unit. I'm going to have that. Yes, I'm going to add it to git. I'm going to extend... A f oh, no, I'm going to extend specification. Oh, IntelliJ, you've let me down. Oh, no. Specification. Import. Um, but I'm not going to write the test because um, okay. IntelliJ support for Groovy. Slash slash to do. Yeah, IntelliJ support <laughs> for Groovy is pretty good. So I've got, I also have, um, I have custom templates so that I don't have to do as much typing. Mm -hmm. So I type test and press tab and it gives me my test. So should be amazing. And then, um, then I can write my test. But um, I'm not going to do the Groovy test because uh, IntelliJ support for Groovy is pretty good, but it's not, it's not perfect. You can't get all the refactoring stuff there. Okay. So um, what I'm going to do now, and so now I've got a uh, wiggly line here, so I'm going to do... What's the wiggly line? So obviously I, I added that, that default constructor. So what I could do if I wanted to see what the default constructor is, is I could click in here, and I could have a look and see old buffer provider session, closed session, and I, I'm pressing Command, Alt, and Back to go back to where I came from. Or I could just go in here and press Command, P, and I would see what I need to put in there. So okay, that's this is your method signature right here. Yeah. So get for Oh, now it's not giving me the auto complete. IntelliJ, wake up. Get buffer. No, I know what it is. It's client dot. What are you doing? <sighs> Live demos. Oh. Spawn Try of Satan. Shift space. It should be get buffer pool, which I always Control shift space. See what that does. Control shift space. Oh hang on. Nope. Nothing. It doesn't like get buffer pool. It's not it doing command P it's anymore either. <gasps> no. 
and it's not okay. clicking through anymore. So let's let let's let's close this and reopen it. <laughs> Turn it off and on again. Turn it off and on again. It's a good thing I don't Did work for JetBrains. Did you try switching it off and on again? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. So um. I'm, I'm learning two things. I'm learning that IntelliJ is awesome, but IntelliJ on the Mac is really flaky. It's it's totally <laughs> fine. It's always <laughs> fine. This is ridiculous. Oh no! All right, I'm going to have to turn it off and on again. How embarrassing! I'm going to write there's to JetBrains and give them a. There's a little handle on the side. <laughs> it's not even. It's not even shutting down now. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, these Macs. These these kids with their Macs. <laughs> should should run a proper operating system. Initiate emergency so procedures. <laughs> <laughs> run quick! <laughs> you should be running Linux, Trish. I told you. I know. I but the Mac is so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> it, it matches my glasses. It does. It's amazing. Um, no, and it's totally died, and uh, now I can't shut it down. And oh, cool. uh, where's Do you have X kill? Is there like a, if you go to a command prompt? Alt force quit. Oh, I did alt. Oh no. Okay, so back into oh, IntelliJ. No. Alt and then click up there. No. Oh yeah, there it is. Quit. Yes. Woohoo! I am a developer, really. Die. <laughs> <laughs> die, rogue process, die. <laughs> Come back. All is forgiven. I've got three minutes. Right, I might jump to the. We can we can get there in three minutes. Top so. ten tips. The useful Mac shortcut, what was that? Command, oh, command shift, command die, command bunny, shift. die. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, what? So here we are. Uh, client admin info. Get buffer pool. Session, yay! Yeah, it just it just had a, had a bit dizzy. of a, had a moment. Someone's going to say I should be using Emacs now. <laughs> I can't think who. <laughs> <coughs> well, no suggestions. Well, and, and that you should be coding in Lisp rather than Java as well. <laughs> Fine. Get session and then. And then now try um, control shift space from there. Control shift. Oh yeah, and that yeah. usually says what do you want to put here. Yeah, so that, that, that's that's a typed uh, completion. Space. And then yeah. hit tab, and then that will just swallow that word up. So there it says go. that's that's a good thing. Okay, cool. So um, I've got one of those. I'm gonna now just do cut and copy paste coding. There is a way to move methods into other classes, but that actually takes longer in the end of the day. So I'm gonna put. Oh no, I know what I wanted to do. Undo. Command Z. Undo. <laughs> Command Z, undo. I want to inline, um, you can't really see this very well. I'm going to inline this constant because I, I want to move this code. And I'm going to inline this constant. So Command Alt N for inline, uh, and because I want to keep that. And then when it gets there, you're going to unpack them again. Yes. Nice. Maybe. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how much time we have. So then I can put that in there. Yeah, and if I want to, I can be, I can say this is the. Alt Shift C. Uh, Admin database. Oh no, what did I do? Oh no. Flee. Um, and then I want one of these, so I'm going to do Alt Enter, my emergency thing, create the field for command codec. This is actually a codec. No, it's not one of those. Stop being so quick. And then I'm going to turn that into a final. So then IntelliJ says you need to initialize it. I'm going to add it in the constructor parameter. Uh, so that's fine. It'll just do that for me. Uh, and then well, hopefully. This is great. So again, you're doing it. It's very intentional. It's like this is the code I want, and it figures out where it needs to put stuff. Yeah. And then hopefully here it will, um, wherever it has gone. Oh, yeah. It's put in the right thing, command codec, because I called it command codec. So it knew that I needed a command codec. Uh, get buffer pool, client. This is one of these. I want one of these in the field. Um, description. 
So how did you pull that out as a field? Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, Command Alt F. It initializes it here, and I want to move the assignment to the field declaration. I don't actually. What I really want is I want it to be in the constructor, and then I can say uh, I want to push this into a parameter. So Command Alt P pushes it up as the parameter. I'm going to call that description, and it figures out this needs to be renamed this dot description. And then when I go back to here, it's used client dot get cluster dot get description to put the right thing in there. So that's all. That's all fine. We've got eight seconds left. Um, so now I can show you all the top ten tips that I was really going to show you, if you want. <laughs> Oopsie. Awesome. Um, I've got to stop it doing that. <laughs> <laughs> so what I've really got is I wanted to say, uh, what are these? Go away. So these are some of my main um, keyboard shortcuts, and I've got thirteen of them. Um, so I, I don't know if I've got time to quickly demo some of those shortcuts or if we've done enough. Or, or are, we, are we hard stopping? Right, a hard stop here. But um, yeah, so these are good okay. shortcuts to Freeze know. frame. Yes. And, uh, and that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh yes, so I've got an idea plugin which didn't fire up actually when I was doing that, which shows you the keyboard shortcuts for stuff if you start using the mouse too much. So that's quite good. It's called key something. You just I did a Google for keyboard shortcuts in IntelliJ IDEA. Um and other plugins. Uh the Gradle plugin is pretty good as well. But th the keyboard one is pretty good. When, you, when you're starting to learn IntelliJ and you don't know what the keyboard shortcuts are, it will always flash up and say, you should have done this. And that's a really good way to get up to speed very quickly. Sorry.